Hi there, folks. Welcome to today's episode of the Shaken Minute. I'm David Shulin. Uh, in today's Shaken Minute, we are going to look closer at one of the categories of the power gauge rating. We are on to the fourth of four categories covering the first three in previous Shaken Minute videos over the previous few weeks. Uh, today, we will look at the experts category or what we sometimes call the secret sauce, right? right? Uh, sentiment in a lot of ways is a good way to look at the experts category. So let's take a closer look at Goldman Sachs here today, again, to see the details of the individual categories and factors within the power gauge rating for a particular stock. We want to click the power gauge box here in the top of the chart. It will expand and now we can see the four categories that make up the power gauge rating for this stock. In the case of Goldman Sachs, we have a very bullish power gauge rating that comes with very bullish earnings, technicals and experts, which we'll talk about today, and bearish financials combined all compared to all other stocks in the Russell 3000, we get very bullish, very likely to outperform in the next one to six months. But we want to talk about the experts category, the secret sauce, the sentiment. We can look closer at the five factors that make up that category by clicking the plus next to experts here. And we, of course, see a very strong experts category, very bullish for Goldman Sachs. Uh, and let's run through each of the five factors, what the calculations uh, look for, uh, and uh, and understand them a little bit better. To do that, we're going to jump into the user guide because in the user guide, we will see the details of each of the factors, user guide and power gauge factor reference guide. That's what we want. All right, let's scroll down. If you've watched any of the other videos on any of the other three categories in the power gauge rating. You've seen uh, this page already. We're going to look at experts. So what is the very first category? It is estimate trend. Yeah, so estimate trend could be something you might think would be part of the earnings section, but it's not because this is about analysts' views of this stock. Right, It is the trend of the estimates, 13-week change of the mean analyst EPS estimates for the next fiscal year. We're looking at how the average earnings per share estimate from analysts out there has changed in the last 13 weeks. Which way has the trend gone for upcoming earnings reports? Does that make sense? Right. When we show uh, earnings per share estimates and changes, et cetera, and shaken analytics, these are not our estimates. These are uh, the mean, the average estimates of public analysts. Right. So we're looking at the estimate trend here, the change in the last 13 weeks. Uh, what about short interest? So short interest is an interesting one. Uh, specifically, because I think it's important that we have a discussion about how this works, how this is sort of calculated. This is short interest divided by shares outstanding in the previous month. So we're looking back one month, looking at the amount of, uh, of short interest here. Um, that makes logical sense, right? Here's the thing. When we look at the power gauge rating, for a, any particular category, in the case of short interest, this is listed as very bullish, right? This has very bullish short interest. What does that mean? Initially, our brains think that these mean high and low, right? So everything all over to the far right here in the green means high, right? But that is not true. It doesn't mean high or low. It means it's bullish for the stock. And what is bullish for the stock is low short interest. Yes, I understand short squeezes are a thing. Maybe you're looking for short squeezes. That is a very specific situation, right? In general, what is bullish for a stock would be a low amount of short interest. So in this case, 
with Goldman Sachs showing very bullish short interest, that means relative to other stocks in the Russell 3000, there is a small amount of short interest on Goldman Sachs. If you were looking for a stock for a short squeeze possibility, you would actually want bearish or very bearish short interest here in the power gauge rating factors. I hope that makes sense. Uh, what's the next one here? Insider activity, which happens to be bearish. Uh, insider activity is going to show us the net shares purchased by company insiders. This looks back six months. Makes sense, right? Net shares, so in and out, in and out. But looking back over a six month period, what about analyst ratings? The four week change in the average analyst rating on a stock, buy, hold, sell, et cetera, right? Analyst ratings, this looks back over four weeks. And then we look at the relative strength of the industry group this stock is in going back six months. So we like to be in strong industries, right? Stro uh, rising tide lifts all boats. Uh, we like stocks that are outperforming the market. We look at relative strength versus the SPY related to the individual stock. This is helping us look at the industry as a whole compared to the rest of the market, right? Compared to the S&P 500 as a proxy uh, is what that does. And we combine all five of these to create your forward thinking power gauge rating. Now, um, well, just the experts category, which then combines with the other three categories. Goldman Sachs is a very strong experts category. Again, what we named it, it's, you know, we kind of call it something different at different times. It's known officially as experts. You might think of it as sentiment. You might think of it as the secret sauce mixed with your earnings, your financials, your, right, your fundamentals and your technicals. Uh, but it is certainly also an important part of the overall power gauge rating. We hope you've enjoyed today's Jacob Minute. We will catch you again tomorrow.